Breastfeeding is an important and natural way to provide nourishment for newborns. However, some lactating mothers may struggle with producing enough milk. As a result, many turn to lactation supplements to increase milk production. But are these supplements effective and safe? The truth is, there is little research on the effectiveness and safety of lactation supplements. Many studies show that lactation supplements have a psychological effect. In fact, one study noted that herbal galactagogues may have psychological benefits because they boost confidence and feelings of self-efficacy in people who are nursing. However, overall, studies show little evidence to support the use or safety of lactation supplements. It's the Mom Hack YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. How do lactation supplements work? Lactation supplements theoretically increase milk production in lactating people by interacting with dopamine receptors and boosting prolactin levels. Dopamine and prolactin are hormones. Higher prolactin levels occur during lactation. Dopamine may inhibit prolactin release, potentially affecting milk supply. So, some typical over-the-counter lactation supplements include fenugreek, fennel, anise, cumin, black seed, shadavari root, palm date, lactation teas. But you should know about the dangers of these supplements. Fenugreek, the side effects of fenugreek may range widely. 85 mothers who used fenugreek were surveyed for one study, and 45% reported adverse effects. These negative effects include increased gassiness in the mother or baby, a smell of maple syrup coming from the body, and an abundance of milk. When using the tea form, some mothers also experience diarrhea and stomach pain. Exacerbation of asthma is one of the negative effects. Fenugreek was discovered to hinder mouse sensorimotor development, and the functioning of the spinal cord networks in one study. After breast milk introduces fenugreek to infants, there may be an increased risk of bleeding. The anticoagulant properties of fenugreek account for this. One instance of gastrointestinal bleeding in a premature baby following the mother's fenugreek use is recorded. In a study on mice and rats, fenugreek was found to lower T3 levels. The study suggests that fenugreek could affect women who have thyroid disease. In another study congenital malformations as well as death were reported in rodent, rabbit, and chick populations. The study also showed anti-fertility effects in both men and women. Pregnant women should avoid fenugreek, as it can cause contractions and potentially harm the fetus. Fenugreek belongs to the legume family. Therefore, if someone has an allergy or sensitivity to peanuts or chickpeas, they should stay away from fenugreek. Fennel and anise. Two breastfed newborns who had excessive maternal use of a herbal tea containing fennel, anise, and other herbs showed signs of toxicity that were consistent with toxicity brought on by the compound anethol, which is present in fennel and anise. After ingestion or application to the skin, fennel can produce allergic reactions that affect the skin or respiratory system, including photosensitivity. Because of the potential for cross-allergenicity, mothers should avoid fennel if they or their children are allergic to carrots, celery, or other members of the APAC family. Shadavari root Shadavari root produced estrogenic effects on mammary glands and genital organs in guinea pigs and rabbits when it was administered orally in a therapeutic dose. An increase in fetus resorption was observed in a randomized study, and pups displayed teratogenic disorders, gross malformations, leg swelling, and intrauterine growth retardation. Live puppies displayed significant body weight loss and developmental delay. The researchers came to the conclusion that the herb should be used with caution during pregnancy because its exposure during that time may harm the unborn child. Therefore, this supplement should not be used during pregnancy. It is also unknown how Shedivari affects children during breastfeeding. So, what is the best way to increase the amount of breast milk? The best way to increase the amount of breast milk is to breastfeed very often and drink enough liquid preferably warm or hot. The mammary glands produce milk as needed. Milk appears during feeding. If the baby sucks, the mammary glands will start producing milk. You can stimulate milk production with a breast pump additionally. Remember, any hot tea or water can be an excellent lactation supplement. Just remember to drink hot liquids and feed your baby as needed. If the child wants to eat after an hour, give the breast. If the child wants to eat after 10 minutes, give the child a breast. In this way, you will increase the amount of breast milk. While lactation supplements may seem like a quick fix for low milk supply, they are not without their risks. It is crucial to consult a healthcare provider before taking any supplement. The best and most effective way to increase milk production is through frequent breastfeeding and staying hydrated.